to say that the universe happened by chance is observed observed it's crazy ludicrous keeps us from having fun but here but here we see the opposite law that converts us makes us wise rejoices the heart enlightens the eyes warns us and rewards us that's because god's laws are gu guidelines and lights on our path rather than the chains of our hands and feet they point at danger to warn us they point at success to guide us hello my beautiful people a breaking news is on attention a breaking news is on and i can testify and i can tell you when I don't meditate on his word, when I'm not reading his scripture, even if you just pick up a random page and just read one sentence, do it every day and you'll realize the days that you don't, you're off. You don't. It's currently like 11 at night, maybe almost 12. And when I'm restless like this, I like to read God's word. Um, I feel like it's him telling me to read his word. So I try to be obedient. So I don't, I'm not always obedient, but right now I'm awake and I wanted to share something with you. I'm reading Psalms 19 and I know I've been uploading videos of reading Genesis, but I, <laughs> I want to read this with you guys because I am struggling with gluttony. It's one, food is one of my hardest sins to overcome. Eve couldn't do it in a, in a garden of uh, wait why can't I think of the name listen like I said it's almost 12 o'clock and I have to be at work I have to be in work at 6 this very this stood out to me a lot so I wish I could I was a professional youth I wish I I wish I could be a professional youtuber right now so I wanted to take a look at Genesis, um, Psalms 19. The heaven declared the glory of God and the firmament sh shewed his handiwork. Day on to, okay, I can't read it from my phone, but. Day on to utter speech and night on to night. Shield knowledge, there is no speech nor language where their voice is not heard. There is no speech nor language where their voice is not heard. Their line has gone out through all the earth and their words to the end of the world. In them hath he set a terminicle, ter terminicle for the sun, which is the bridge, which is the bridegroom coming out of the chamber and rejoice as a strong man to run a race. His going forth is from the end of the heaven in a circuit onto the ends of it, and there is nothing hid from the he from the heat thereof. The law of the Lord is perfect, converting the soul. The testimony of the Lord is sure, making the wise simple. How powerful is that? The statutes of the Lord are right, rejoicing the heart. The commandment of the Lord is pure, enlightening the eyes. The fear of the Lord is clean, enduring forever. The judgment of the Lord are true and righteous altogether more to be desired are they than gold yeah than much fine gold sweeter also than honey and the honeycomb so that stuck out to me in my journey of gluttony because it brings it to food like so more to be desired are they than gold and it's sweeter than honey Moreover, by them is a servant warned, and in keeping of them there is great reward. Who can understand his errors? Cleanse thou me from secret faults. <laughs> My ghetto-ass layout. <laughs> Keep back thy servant also from presumptuous sins. Let them not have dominion over me. Dominion over me. Okay, I just can't really see, so I'm sorry. Let the words of words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, my strength and my redeemer. So, I just find that so powerful. So, I'm going to grab my NIV version. 19, why is this so highlighted? All right. 
for the director of music of Psalms of Muse David. The heavens declare the glory of God, the skies proclaim the work of his hands. Day after day they pour forth speech, night after night they reveal knowledge. They have no speech, they use no words, no sound is heard from them, yet their voice goes out into all the earth, their words to the ends of the world, in the heavens God has pitched a tent for the sun. It's like a bridegroom coming out of his chamber, like a champion rejoicing on his run, rejoicing to run his course. It rises at one end of the heavens and makes its circuit to another. Nothing is deprived of its warmth. The law of the Lord is perfect, refreshing the soul. The statutes of the Lord are trustworthy, making wise the simple. The precepts of the Lord are right, giving joy to the heart. The commandments, the commands of the Lord are radiant, giving light to the eyes. The fear of the Lord is pure, enduring forever. The deceits of the Lord are firm, and all of them are righteous. They are more precious than gold, than much pure gold. They are sweeter than honey, than honey from the honeycomb. So a disciple of God. By them your servant is warned, and keeping them there is great reward. But who can discern their own errors? Forgive my hidden faults. Keep your servant also from willful sin. Keep your servant also from willful sins. May they not rule over me. Then I will be blameless, innocent of great transgression. May the words of my excuse me, may the words of my mouth and his meditation of my heart be pleasing in your sight, Lord, my rock and my redeemer. Lord, my rock and my redeemer. So I have um, a life application study Bible, the King James Version. So I like to read the bottom of it for 19 so we can really get into it. So it says 19.1, the heavens declare the glory of God and the firmament shoe is his handiwork. So it says, David's steps of meditation take him from creation through God's worth, through his own sinfulness to salvation. As God reveals himself through nature, we learn about his power and our fightness. As God reveals himself through scripture, we learn about his holiness and our sinfulness. As God reveals himself through daily experiences, we learn about his gracious forgiveness and our salvation. We are surrounded by fantastic displays of God's craftsmanship. The heavens give a direct matter evidence of his existence, his power, his love, and his care. To say that the universe happened by chance is observed. It's crazy, ludicrous. Its design, intricacy, and order, orderliness give proof of a person. Person, oh my gosh! Personally involved creator. As you look, proof. As you look at God's craftsmanship in nature and the heavens, thank Him for such magnificent beauty and the truth it reveals about the Creator. The Apostle Paul referred to his Psalms when he explained that everyone knows about God because nature proclaims His existence and power. Um, this does not cancel the need for missions because the message of God's salvation must still be told to the ends of the earth. While nature points to the existence of God, the Bible tells us about salvation. God's people must explain to others how they can have a relationship with God, although people everywhere should already believe in a creator just by looking at the evidence of nature around them. They need to learn about God's love, mercy, and grace. When we think about the law, we often think of something that keeps us from having fun. But here, but here we see the opposite, law that converts us makes us wise, rejoices the heart, enlightens the eyes, warns us, and rewards us. That's because God's laws are gu guidelines and lights on our path rather than the chains of our hands and feet. They point at danger to warn us. They point at success to guide us. Guilt plagues many Christians. They worry that they may have committed a sin unknowingly, done something good with selfish intentions, failed to put their whole heart into a task, or neglected what they should have done. Guilt can play an important role in bringing us to Christ and keeping us behaving properly, but it should not cripple us or make us fearful. God fully and completely forgives us, even those sins we do unknowingly. David distinguished between secret faults and 
presumptuous sins. Secret faults are sins committed unknowingly or in ignorance of God's laws. Presumptuous sins are sins committed deliberately and def defiant rebellion against God. David asks for forgiveness for both. <laughs> forgiveness for both. Realizing that God's mercy covered even his dread dreadful sins of murder and adultery. David also desired his words and actions and even his thoughts would please God. So what stood out to me in this gluttony path, um, cleanse. Because I, I, I pray that God gives me, sur you know, gives surgery. Is that a correct word? So Spanish. I'm starting to realize now how overeating or eating um, the wrong things is a sin. I'm realizing how serious it is. I am taking it very seriously. And, um, and I just want to ask for forgiveness from God for failing to put my whole heart into a task, you know? Um, failing to put my whole heart into Him when doing a task and I know it's not just me I know that's why I'm so vulnerable in sharing it because I am far from perfect and I have been struggling with a lot of different things you know and guilt being one of them and the Bible is so beautiful the life application has um after psalms at the end of psalms which ends at 150 it says where to get help in the book of psalms when you feel afraid alone burned out cheated confused depressed boom and then it says when you're facing competition atheist death danger anger discrimination and it says when you want acceptance so how incredible is that? You have a whole guide. And that's what what it is. The Bible is is a guide to to lead this life with meaning. Like when people are like, what's the meaning of life? It's worshiping God. And it's a better life. It's a better life. And I'm a and I can testify and I can tell you when I don't meditate on his word, when I'm not reading his scripture, even if you just pick up a random page and just read one sentence, do it every day and you'll realize the days that you don't, you're off. You don't feel good. You're not your best you. And I just can't explain it other than that. And I just want to share my testimony out there. And, you know, I'm brand new to this. I'm brand spanking new. You know, God's always been in my life. Yes, I've always prayed to him. Yes, I've always knew of him. But I am learning about him. And I am learning about the Holy Spirit that's in within me. You know, and that's him. And, you know, and the reason why I started picking up Psalms was because I know that prayer is missing in my life. But I want to be strong in my prayer. I want to be prayed up, like my my Lynette would say. I want to be prayed up because the world we're facing is we need to be prepared for the temptations of this world and the evils. And I think that once you start realizing what is wrong and what is right, it gets harder, especially for someone like me who's been living in sin for what, 31 years? You know, I just, um, I just hope to do better. That's all, that's all this really is. And uh, me sharing my journey here on YouTube, hopefully can motivate someone to pick up their Bible or whatever it is. Maybe you just wanted to read, you're looking up um, perspectives on Psalms 19. Well, I got it as, It, I just I just think it's so interesting because it shows haunt me you know like and greed 
it's 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 it says it right here in psalms 19 following god is more desirable than gold it's much better than fine gold and it's sweeter than honey it's it's better than any food i can ever taste it's better than any taco bell that i can ever eat you know taco bell is like my freaking addiction like you know and greed i'm thankfully i'm not i mean i don't think i'm having i don't think i'm dealing with that right now it's just gluttony and entitlement i guess i don't know i could talk forever i could talk 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 but the truth of the matter is is that it's 12 o'clock in the morning and i have to be at work in six hours bye